Many people think that satiation and satiety are the same words. However, they are not. In short, satiation is the point where you stop eating food. Satiety, on the other hand, means you feel full and don't feel the need to eat more. However, foods that may cause you to stop eating right now, i.e. foods that provide satiation, may not keep you full or satiated in the long run. In very simple terms, the reason is that satiation relies heavily on factors such as gastric distension or filling up of your stomach, while satiety primarily relies on gastric retention or food staying within the stomach or the gastrointestinal tract. Factors such as food volume and flavor components can influence meal satiation, while factors such as food's resistance to erosion and slow gastrointestinal transit times can impact satiety. A practical example is that when people consume a lot of fruits and vegetables, it may induce quick satiation and your stomach might feel full, but it might not be a good idea because these foods may have a very quick transit time and you may feel hungry very soon. This may also explain why some people, especially fruitarians, can pound down pounds of fruits and vegetables and also feel hungry all day long and being broke because fruits and vegetables are really expensive. Additionally, rapid distension of your stomach may not be a good idea as several studies have indicated that food binging can lead to an increase in the capacity of your stomach. And this might be a huge issue for people who are suffering from eating disorders as their satiety mechanisms can get compromised in the long run. Instead, the focus should be on long-term satiety and fullness and gastric retention. This satiety can be attained by foods, for example, that are usually coarse, tough, doughy, grainy, viscous, gel-like. On the other hand, foods that are usually low viscosity, drinks such as sugary beverages, pre-digested macronutrients such as refined carbohydrates and starches, Hydrolyzed powders such as protein waters and protein shakes and melt in your mouth foods such as sugary ice creams are usually signs of foods that have a reduced gastric retention. There's definitely more to this narrative and a lot more signs. For now, this will give you a very basic idea on what satiety and satiation is and how food textures and physical properties can be a decent gauge on whether a food will keep you full or not. If you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button as we continue to explore the science of health, food, and nutrition so you can become a kick-ass human being mentally and physically.